bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria. By the special grace of God, you are watching me in live program, Heaven and Hell. Heaven and Hell program, the one you used to watch Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, Heaven and Hell, Heaven and Hell, Heaven and Hell, where we expose the plans of the darkness and also uh, give the testimony, I mean, the accounts of uh, Jesus Christ that uh, we have had. I pray the Lord God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Today's message is somehow going to be a little bit uh, considerable. I mean, it's going to be something we need to think about. So please, it is very important that as you are watching me, you join our Zoom program, you join our Zoom program so that you also can ask your questions not only that you can also participate in the deliverance uh, hour we used to do every night and every morning also you can come straight to the meeting and uh, you can ask your question and add the message straight away from me uh the lord will bless you in the mighty name of jesus i pray that all the viewers watching me i pray that god will visit your home visit your life visit your ministry in the name of jesus christ let's go into prayer father in the name of jesus father in the mighty name of jesus internal rock of aging we want to appreciate you because you are faithful you are faithful you are wonderful you are glorious in all situations you are god we want to thank you because you are here today thank you oh lord in the name of jesus our lord our god we pray oh lord for those who are listening right now for those who are watching right now that we open their eyes to see you you will open their eyes to see the things of the spirit you will open their mind to go straight and to go deeper in the mystery of your world and the understanding of your world in their life you will send your holy spirit right now into their life for total ministrations in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen what we want to consider today uh, is uh, entertaining in the ministry entertainment in the ministry in the church is it even proper for us to be doing some one kind entertainment in the church is it proper to be doing entertainment in the church i'm going to go deep a little deep today about it and let's see what god is talking about is it proper for the church to invite the comedy artist to come and do comedy in the order. Is it it proper for a Christian to be doing comedy? I'm so sorry that I'm going to be a little bit raw this morning. I'm not going to start as trying to explain anything. One of the things I want to explain to you directly is that comedy is not part of the ministry of God. Any Christian into comedy is going to help. That's why I say I will be straight away forward to you this morning. And I don't want to take any time. I don't want to take your time. Comedy is not in the Bible. Comedy. I remember that there is a particular place in the Bible where they talk about jokes. That talks about jokes. There is a particular place. And one of the places in the Bible where when Jesus Christ is about to be crucified, the Bible said they brought him to a king. 
and the bible said and the thing we are making deaths of jesus christ do anyone doing those maybe you are a christian or you said that you have a talent to make people laugh so they invited you in fact let me hold on on that invitation so you are a christian and you are going around making jokes or comedy my brother my sister i want you to go and recite with it not only recite go and ask god for mercy because your way is straight away hellfire it's not there's nothing like a sis mask there it's straight away hell the question i want to ask you is that do you think the matter of heaven is about talking and laughing eh? the funniest part is that the church now are now inviting comedians to come and make comedy in the church and they'll begin to sit and laugh. <laughs> Every church that do that, yes, sir, I am declaring it. I am not God, but I am a worshiper of Jesus Christ. That church, irrespective of the title, is a satanic church. Because where is your only spirit in their life? To tell them that the price Jesus Christ pays on the cross of Calvary is not about laughing and joking. Where is the Holy Spirit to tell them that the blood that Jesus Christ shed on the cross of Calvary is not about laughing? It's a serious matter. Serious matter. It's not about making noise. It's a serious matter. He has to keep a God himself coming in form of human being. Beating, injured, and was crucified. And you become to the altar of God, a house of prayer. He said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Not the house of things. Not a house of comedia, not a house of entertainment. I want to stop straight now to Oliana. Please, if you can, in one way or the other, share this message. Let it listen so that they can know those who are they are playing this comedia with you. Dele and Co. Uliagba. All of them do all those playing something with him. So that they can know I am not God, but the Bible is telling us. They can know that their way is hellfire. The funniest part is that he will now be behaving like a fake pastor joking in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Bible says, according to the word of God, it said, do not call the name of God in vain. You will be calling the name of Jesus Christ. You will die of me. Lord, God, yes, you can't say. They will turn it to laugh. Mention God's name in vain. Use lesson about the blood of the Savior in vain. This lesson is, is brought in vain. I want to tell you, sir, if you are looking at me, Uliadba, and what did they call your name? And all, all your clue, and other people that they call themselves, there's the one they call uh, uh, this is Aboki for Jesus. All of you that you, you believe that you are you are YouTube comedian to make money or to make a church laugh anyone you call yourself listen to me very well very well very well if you do the resign now and stop that thing you are heading to hell 
listen to me. Maybe you don't understand. The house of God is not where you like you ah, God. Maybe you don't understand. You it's not a place like it's not a place of entertainment, like it's not, it's not where you go there and make jokes. You don't do that, yeah. That is why God God not is upon your life. It's resting upon you. Pastor that are bringing that, welcoming that into their thoughts. God's anger is upon your destiny and your children and your family. The house of God shall be called a house of prayer, not anything. A house of prayer. You don't come there and make jokes. You don't come there. You go there and make jokes. You don't go there and make jokes. If our Savior can use Koboko and beat everyone selling in the entrance of the temple, you should understand how this thing is dangerous in God's presence. You should know. You should know. You should know. You should know how this thing is dangerous. You should know. You should know. You should understand. Ah! In the funniest part is that you will not come again. Oh gosh. The house of God is not for choreography. What does choreography do in the church? Eh? What does it do in the church? If you look at Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4, Let's open it. Ephesians 5 verse 4. Let's see what is inside there. Five verse 4. So that you don't say that what is this man saying? Is it in the Bible? Is there Ephesians chapter 5, verses 4? Neither fittiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather give giving of thanks. The church has now become a place of playground. When you just come and say, hey, we are looking for new thing again, though. Ha! In those days, when people are going to the church, <laughs> they go there with fear. They are afraid because of the presence of God there. They go there with their Bible. They are very careful that their life is not a, a fitting life. They are going there with the kind of holiness and righteousness. They are going there with fear. When they are praising God, they are praising with fear. The word of God is being shared. No time for laughing. No time for joking. Children don't move around, they coordinate them very well because they know it is the presence of the Almighty. Ah! Then we go and invite the worldly artists to come and make those. I go die, come, come, make those for them. There's some people they call themselves salmon, uh, I don't know, people salmon, something like that. They call themselves salmon, something. They will come there and come and make jokes. 
in the church in the name of the Lord, they will start reading the Bible as if they are reading literature. They will say, you are reading Psalm, read it. Psalm and song, yes. They call themselves Psalm and song. I think so. You will not read it. You will start reading Esther as if it's reading Quran, saying nonsense thing with the word of the living God. What a Muslim cannot do in this book, in, the, in, the, in their mouths. What a Muslim cannot do. A Muslim, what a Muslim cannot do. Christians are, are doing it. And the gods of the Muslim did not die for them. Our Lord Jesus Christ died with pain. You could not imagine the kind of cause that will be placed upon those who entertain, uh, 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 accept entertainment in their thoughts, bring comedy to their thoughts. You do not, you cannot imagine the kind of blessing cause that will be upon them. If Jesus Christ can come out as a savior and begin to wipe them all. The person that owns money, that will take the money, he take away the money and pour it away. He scattered the place. If you can do it on earth, how much more? The kind of course is going to place upon your life and destiny. Even though as a pastor, you are, it is not God that called you. Yet, don't destroy the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because I know many of you, you are just a merchandise. Many of you, we know you. In the name of Jesus Christ, many of you went to the sea and go and collect powers and free, fame to become big in life. Your secrets are exposed. Even though You are doing all this thing to get money and working for the devil. Beg. Not destroy the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are intentionally doing it so that you can bring more soul to the kingdom of the darkness, may the judgment of the Lord, if you refuse to repent, may it fall upon you. Dear well, your church is, is not even the church of God before. Why won't you do whatever you want to do? I want to tell you that church is not a place of choreography. When you begin to deal and like it's wearing white and begin to go, go back, go front, go front, and begin to, it's not a place for that. It's not a place for that. What does it benefit Christ? Even drama, it's not all drama that can be played in the church. Not all. I'm not saying that I'm condemning drama. Because drama, so, some Christian drama change lives. Before they say they want to act, you first ask them. Some will say they are acting Christian drama and they'll be kissing in the church. In fact, is it even proper to be acting on the stage of the altar? If you want to ask, go bring your, go outside and ask. In fact, if you want to ask, go outside and ask. The altar, the holy altar, you are moving around. I beg. It's what we have done before. And God condemn us. Please be careful of the kind of way you, you treat the house of God. We have all done it before. There was a time we are doing, uh, uh, you say we are entertaining people. So we begin to bring a uh, uh, love, we say we are doing love feast. So they will begin to bring, uh, boy, they will bring a uh, dress code. Uh, they, will drink, they will begin to drink together, boy and girl. 
they will begin to drink wheels. It's all those things are not biblical. Love is to be in a Christ normally. It's not like you can begin to do one kind of uh, in the Valentine's Day and be getting love feasts and be going wearing red and white or doing this and this. It's a nonsense. What does it do to the body of Christ? The body of Christ needs the revival, not all those nonsense. I have one friend. That my friend there, I was when I was in the world, I know him. Because I was a dancer. I was a dancer when I was in the world. And that my friend used to rap. Not only rap, he did smoke weed. He smoked weed. He smoked all the kind of a dangerous thing. Me, I don't smoke when I was in the world. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I was just a dancer. But I know him very well. He knew me very well. Then I was surprised that after I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I just come to the church that day and I met we are doing, I don't know what they are doing in the church. My pastor invited him to come and rap in the church. Then I was just coming in Christ. I just give my life to Jesus Christ. I was looking at him. Into rap. Jesus in the church. Everybody was clapping, they were shouting, hey, hey, hey. Even my pastor was like, ha, ah, in the touch. We are a particle of it before. When I was a dancer, I would go to churches and go and dance breakfast for them. We do know that we are destroying the house of God. Eh? When I was seeing the war, we do know that we are destroying the house of God. Bring him dance at home and do group dancing. What does he benefit Jesus? Salvation? Can dancing dance give salvation to people? No! You are destroying the altar. You are chasing the Holy Spirit away from your church. No wonder your product is always worldly. Always worldly. One. No wonder we are still watching the music shop become the ghost to see what they have become. We have seen it because that was your 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 your, your product. Your product. They are singing for Christ to their own understanding, but their life is totally immersed before the host of heaven. No wonder Christians are no more entering heaven again. No wonder. No wonder the judgment of God is becoming more utter every day. No wonder. No wonder God wanted to wipe away his thoughts on the earth. No wonder. No wonder. When your sin has go up to the whole heaven, and God say, yeah, in my thoughts, in my house, No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. We know what they have become. We have the trusts in the thought. You say it is permitted that there's nothing wrong in this. Ah! Oh my God. I will not talk. But if I start to talk, it will not be good. You begin to teach people that wearing your ring, putting powder, putting attachment. Very high heel, putting on clothes that doesn't cover their whole neck and body. Meaning scared, trust is that nothing is wrong with it. No wonder that. And you appreciate Christ. By the time we talk about it, by the time I look at the, the message of uh, uh, opposed to, uh, is this, uh, is this uh, opposed to Joshua Simon? And he talk about trouser. Selma, he was saying that there's nothing wrong with trouser. He begin to, in fact, oh my father, he break what the Bible say. 
In Romans chapter 22, verse 5, he break it and turn it to another dimension. I, that day I was like, I was hearing it, I was shouting, ah, ah. The way he defined his own, oh my God. I got to know that thought of scatter. Church has scatter. The way he defined his own, he defined it in a way whereby you say, ah, this is true, it's true. And he come to a conclusion that God is not looking at our body. Nevertheless, we must dress, not dress. But trust is not a sin. All these ministers saying that all this is only sin, but the Lord forgive you. The Bible say they will say peace is coming. Peace, peace, they will proclaim peace. Not that it is the wrath of God upon their life. All you the Christian that is destroying the house of God, may the Lord forgive you. The house of God is a house of prayer. Don't destroy the house of God for us. Don't break it. Don't destroy it for us. Don't destroy it for us. It's a holy house. Anyone that will get these things is heading to hell because it's by biblical. You to think for yourself as a person. You to think, think, think now, think for yourself. I pray the Lord save you and deliver a church from the devourers. The devil has gone out to deceive everyone. <laughs> The Lord save us in Jesus' name. I won't say more than this. You know areas whereby you are defining the church. Mountain of fire is part of them. Mountain of fire is part of them. We know you. We know your works. Bring you football to the church. Football, football. Ah, hey God, I beg you, Jesus. Football. You see, because of salvation, football. You see, football for Jesus' leg before. So you see, Jesus Christ go to feed and go and play ball before. I mean, you see, I post with ball. <laughs> football into the house of God. When they call in the house of prayer, you can't remember they carry a group and feed. May the Lord forgive you, sir. To the havoc you have done to the church. The church is the body of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. You, you are, it is not your father, sir. That built the church. Not even your grandfather, sir. Nobody, papa. Nobody, papa. Nobody, nobody my papa. Nobody, papa. Build that. Now, Jesus Christ's body will take. It was key for it, for the church to hold. And you are destroying church anyhow. I am a watchman to the house of God. I will say the truth. Whatever he wants to count it to, count it to it. See, this man is rude. Anyone you won't come out. But we will not look. If many ministers of God cannot come out and speak, I will speak as long as I'm alive. I will say the truth about the word. I remember Jesus Christ came to me when I was still very young, coming in Christ as an evangelist. He came to my room physically and told me, he said, I'm going to place my word in your mouth. And from today, you will not speak the word of your own anymore. And it touched my tongue since that day. I've been speaking the truth and I will keep speaking it, whether you like it or not. It's the word of God. I want for your information so that I don't repeat myself. You, the comedians, I'm not talking about the Christian one anymore now. You comedians in the world, 
that whenever you are doing comedy, it's for you to mention the name of God. If you want to do your comedy as a worldly person, we not hold you. It's your life. But stop calling the name of Jesus on the altar, on, 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 on your stage. If you don't know, your generation are on that cost. Because of the name of Jesus, you are using to do comedy. If you want to serve devil, we are not we are not supporting you to do that, but it's your life. We are calling you to repentance than to give your life to Jesus. But please, I'm begging you the name of God. Stop calling the name of God in vain. I pray God will save you in Jesus' name. And for all the gospel artists calling themselves uh, gospel artists uh, like this, like that, see they are comedians or what? I'm telling you very well that if you do repent, you are on your way to hell. If you die today, you are going straight to hell. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for staying patiently to watch the video here. This is a message God is giving me to the people and to the church. Please and please obey because obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Please obey. So that they can be saved. Not only that, don't just go with that subscribing. It's very important. Subscribe to the channel, press notification button so that whenever I post, it will ring up in your phone. There are many revelational messages I'm going to be posting every day. Not only that, we should do Zoom program. We also do to do do program. We should do deliverance. If you need deliverance for your spiritual something or anything, you can join us. And not only that, we also do this heaven and hell where you can ask questions. If you need any question, you want to you want to come to us. We worship online too. And also, heaven and hell program needs your support. There's any way God will put it in your heart to support the ministry? The Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please share the uh, video everywhere. Let people understand that the church is a house of prayer. May the Lord bless you and be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye bye.